Hi guys, today I'm going to explain to you how to update your Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime from KitKat to Lollipop. Okay, so these steps will only be successful if your phone information will be the same as this. So for the Samsung, the model number, it should be SM-G530H and the baseband version you should have the G530HXCU so the important thing here is the XCU okay so the first thing that we need to do is we need to turn on the USB debugging on our phones so for before we can do that we need to have this de developer options in our devices so new phones um, doesn't have this one so for this developer option to come up you need to press multiple multiple times the build number pop, 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 pop. and then it will just your phone will just notify you that developer options is already activated so in the developer options you need to put a check mark on USB debugging all right all right all right so I just recently had an upgrade with my phone and it was a successful one that's why I am making this video for me to share the process or the procedure so first thing we have to download the three three files whatever you call it so the first thing that we need to download is the samsung usb driver okay so for this one i will just put the description or the links in the description below for this um, samsung galaxy driver just click this one and it will be downloaded so I will just cancel it since I already have it in my computer so after downloading it you need to open the file extract all and then install it into your laptop or computer you need we need to have this because um, if our laptop is not a Samsung one in this case I have an Acer laptop so we need to have this driver the second thing that we need to download is the actual tool that we can um, update our phones it would be the Odin 3.10.7 so I will just give you a link that you will be directed to this page and just download this one Okay, so it's still rolling up. Okay, so after downloading it, right? So the same thing. Um, open the file, extract all, and then install it to your computer okay so this is how ordinary looks like a blank page yes a blank page okay the last thing that we need to download is the firmware the actual lollipop firmware so as we can see um we are using the sm-g530h which is the one that has the xcu okay so just click the start download so that it will be downloaded into your computer okay so having to download all those three things we just proceed to the update process here okay so in our audience tool 
we just need to click the AP and we need to look for the firmware that we just downloaded so we need to have the after extracting we need we, we can have the MD5 file so yes it should be the MD5 and then open Uh, more or less it will um, not respond since we don't have an actual phone inserted on it all right so all right so going back to Odin tool um, you should open it and then in this part we should now insert our phone using the USB data cable in our computer so if it's successfully detected by our driver it will show um, this information added so it will show the information added and it will have a blue COM4 text here so after this one so that's the time we need to add the firmware here Alright, and we had to make sure also. Okay, so it's still not responding. We will just wait for it. Alright, so we need to make sure also that auto reboot and F reset time is is checked. After, so yes, the default binary size is one four nine one dot five megabyte. So if you all can see this in your phone, that's the time that you need to click start. Okay. So also in the link where you, where we can download the firmware, there is also an instruction here or the flashing guide. So we just read this. Yes, step by step. Okay. So after pressing the start button, the firmware update on your device. So in a moment or two uh, more or less one to two minutes the download or the update will be successful so just um, click the links below so these versions of the Odin tool the 3.10.7 is uh, proven and tested that it will work so a while ago I experienced some um, not responding issues because I don't have an actual phone inserted but if we have an actual phone inserted in the laptop it will um, run smooth because I am using my Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime to record this video right here okay so just leave um, the results just share to me the results on the comments below so thanks for watching and bye for now